You know, the Bible declares in Job chapter 32, verse 9, great men are not always wise. There's a difference between wisdom and education. There are a lot of people who are educated but not wise, and there are those who are wise but not educated. Now, I don't mind having both, but Solomon asked God for wisdom. You got them people up in the churches where they like to have Bible debates. They spend more time fighting over chicken, or fighting over collard greens, or fighting over stuff that's just nonsense, drama in the church. Now, you wonder why folk don't stay in church. There's so much envy and jealousy. That ain't wise. Although you're doing great things, you're doing wonderful works, but you're the one that God's going to say, I never knew you. Matthew chapter number 7, verse 22. Praise the Lord. You met them people who got to have a structure for everything. Bible debates. Give me a structure for that. Well, you know, some things are just common sense. And just use wisdom. If you got to use a bathroom, you know you got to use a restroom, you got no time to find a structure to back that up. You just know if you don't go to the bathroom now, you know what's going to happen. I ain't got to be graphic about, it, graphic about it. You know what I'm talking about. Certain things are just common sense. Amen. The Bible said in the Philippians chapter 1, verse 15, some indeed preach Christ out of envy and strife and others of goodwill. Stop all that, di uh, all that Bible debating. You know, who's the best preacher? Who knows the most Bible? This is not a contest. This is about giving God the glory and about winning souls for Jesus Christ. So beware of those those church lunatics. One day they speak, next day they don't speak. Next day, hey, I love you, praise the Lord. Next day, they're going out to the witch doctor trying to put a curse on you, stabbing you in the back. That's a Dr. Jekyll and a Mr. Hyde, uh, our Mrs. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. Beware of them church lunatics. Keep your mind on, on Jesus Christ. He'll keep your mind in perfect peace, whose mind is stayed on him. God bless.